On September 21, 1956, pilot Tom Attridge was test firing the F 11 Tiger aircraft's 420mm Colt Mark 12 cannon at around 20,000 feet. He fired two bursts midway while performing a shallow nosedive. And about a minute and 2.7 miles after the first volley, the plane had started rattling while his windshield buckled inwards. At first he had thought it was a bird strike but soon realized that he was hit by the same first bullets he'd fired himself. As the trajectory of the cannon rounds decayed, they ultimately had crossed paths while the aircraft continued its descent. Shortly after he had decided to turn back, the engine had completely lost power forcing him to crash land the aircraft into a cluster of trees igniting a fire about a half a mile short of the runway. Despite being injured, Attridge had managed to cut himself free and get far enough away from the crash. 